The calling of a tower of more than half the number of train boys sent to sea begins at the Gravesend Sea School, where swinging the lead is a serious and very necessary part of their training. On board the Trident, the lads are studying the principles of sailing. Boat drill is another very important item. The saving of precious moments may mean the saving of precious lives. Some of the training is done ashore and aloft, and a real sailor's job is climbing up into the blue to rig a derrick for working cargo. Along the line, the signal ran. Um, sorry, that's the washing. The boys prepare and cook their own meals, um, uh, grub, and with 200 vasty appetites to satisfy, it's a big job, but they're big meals too. Smells good, doesn't it? Golly, what a feast. The lads haven't got their sea legs until they can handle sheer legs, the contrivance for lifting weights. And they must be able to dispose of cargo, but not necessarily the contents, with promptitude and dispatch, as they say on the upper deck. There are about 200 knots in general use at sea, and that's why you never hear a thirsty seaman say he'd rather not. An example of the round turn and two half hitches. These young mariners are fine hefty lads of 15 to 18 and they come from all parts of the British Isles. The course lasts 10 weeks. Learning to steer a big ship is perhaps the most important part of the training and the boys listen attentively while the mysteries of the compass are being explained and demonstrated. By means of a special shore apparatus they get to know the wheelhouse of an ocean going vessel. Through the wheelhouse window the young navigator sees what you're now seeing on the screen. He's on the bridge of a gallant ship and she's going full speed ahead. The boys excel at lifeboat drill, and they've got a full-sized ship's lifeboat to practice on. The boat is turned out and lowered in less than no time. And now it's being hoisted on board again, with a great big uh, pull-for-the-shore sailor tug. As you can see, these strong, healthy lads tackle their job with a fine spirit. Presently, they'll be making the life on an ocean wage the only life that matters. These sons of the sea certainly don't do things by halves. We met one who had a rather delicate taste in earrings, but he was practical too, for that gorgeous bit of jewellery is really an identity disc. Some people are their own identity disc, and that's true of that quaint...